Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have 22 items to ship out today and my average sale price for this video was $32, which is super exciting. That is an awesome average sale price. I'm very happy with that. I'm excited to show you what sold and why it commanded a little bit of a higher price. A lot of these sold very quickly. Some did not. I have all of my labels here. I have printed them out on my Dymo label writer for XL. I do handwrite the information on the back, like if I received an offer, if I counter offered, that kind of thing. And yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Our very first sale for today is from my men's closet. This was the only item to sell. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is going to be my sales from Sunday until today. Today is Tuesday. And so yeah, basically like half of Sunday, because I think I did package up on Sunday. And then, or maybe I didn't. Maybe all of Sunday all of Monday, and then earlier today, Tuesday. Okay, so yes, one sale in my men's closet, a pair of suspenders. These are by Polo Ralph Lauren. They're really nice silk printed suspenders with genuine leather accents. I was at the bins over a year ago, and I just stumbled into a stack of suspenders, and they have just been slowly selling ever since. I think I found, I want to say like eight to ten pairs. Several were the Trafalgar brand of suspenders, which is a definite bolo for suspenders, Trafalgar. I sold a couple of those for $75 to $100. They were novelty prints. One was an owl print and one was a duck print. I still have one last Trafalgar novelty print. It's like the Hippocratic Oath for a doctor. So I thought that would be uh, really cool to wear to like a ceremony or something like that. But those are still listed. But yeah, I have been selling all of the suspenders just over time. I found them over a year ago. And the return on that, so I probably bought the lot of 8 to 10 suspenders for maybe like eight to ten dollars and I have probably made back 300 possibly 350 now so that was an incredible return on my investment I listed these Ralph Lauren suspenders at fifty dollars and I received an offer of 35 which I did happily accept my earnings were 28 and my net profit was around $27 on those. So yeah, there's definitely some money in suspenders if they are the right brand and high quality materials. Definitely silk, leather accents, that kind of thing. Okay, switching to women's closet now. Our first sale is a bundle of two sweaters. I have recently been talking about it, but People are starting to transition their wardrobes. You will see in this video, we have several sweaters, several long sleeve thermal tops because people are already thinking uh, fall time, winter time. People always think ahead. So this is a Loft Plus size 16, 18, new attacks, pale pink sweater with ruffled wrist cuffs. I mainly Pick this up from the bins because of everything I just mentioned actually it's plus size it's new pale pink color was pretty just a closet staple here I will start looking for more bread and butter stuff that has lots of sellable features if it's a slower day because I know that they will sell they might sit for a little bit and they might sell for less but I know that they will sell eventually. So that's kind of my go-to when I'm not finding higher end brands or items that I know will command a higher sell price kind of thing. Oh, I should have wrapped that with this. The second and last piece in this bundle is this piece printed novelty sweater. This is so cute. I just showed this in a thrift haul so it sold so quickly. That Ann Taylor sweater 
has sat now for two to three months and this sold within just a couple days of being listed. I had so many offers on this. I listed it at 35 just because I don't think that it retails for too much. And I had probably 10 offers on this sweater. A lot of them were lower from like 20 to 25 ish. But I did want to hold out because it was so popular and it was so recently listed. So someone added the two of these sweaters to a bundle. The bundle price was $63 and they offered me $45, which I did counter to $50 because in my mind, I allocated $35 for this piece sweater, basically a full price sale. And then I allocated $15 for the Ann Taylor sweater. And I was happy with that uh, sale price. Anytime I can move out a piece that I'm not so excited about or has been sitting for a couple months, I do usually opt to do that. My earnings were $40. I paid about $3 for both sweaters, and so my profit was $37 on this bundle, which I am happy with. Okay, next up we have a three-piece bundle. First is this gorgeous 100% wool turtleneck midi length sweater. This is so pretty. The brand is Pappus, P-A-P-P-U-S. I looked it up. I believe this is sold through Etsy. So it's kind of more of like an artisan piece, I guess you'd say not really mass marketed, but the quality is just incredible on this. It's so cozy, it has thumb holes. So not only is it very, very cozy of a piece, but you have the thumb holes to uh, really just bundle up in this guy. I think I actually need to build a box number seven for this bundle because this dress, is a pretty thick knit. I don't know, we'll wrap them individually. I might be able to fit them in my box number 1095. So second piece is this Lulu's midi length lace dress with sheer portion. So this is sheer and then the midsection is sheer. Again, I just showed this in a thrift haul so it sold within three days or so of being listed. The wool turtleneck dress I've had for, I would say two to three months, but it was listed in the dead of summer. So I think that definitely contributed to the time that it sat for a little bit. And lastly is more wool. This is 100% merino, extra fine merino wool from Banana Republic, size small little sweater here. I have had this for over a year now. I picked up a stack of three all 100% merino wool sweaters from Banana Republic. I believe I have sold all of them and this was the last one to sell. So that's exciting to move this one out. The buyer bundled the three of these in into the buyer bundled the three of these and I sent her a $75 offer with discounted shipping, mainly because I have had this Banana Republic sweater for over a year, and because I did wanna move out that wool turtleneck sweater. Like I said, I have had it for a few months now, and that offer was accepted. I just mixed up my order here. Let me get this back in the right spot. Yeah, okay. Okay, I do not want to ever get out of order. That is a recipe for disaster. See, so yeah, I sent a bundle price, $75, which is kind of shipping, that was accepted. My earnings were around $58. I paid about six for everything, and so my profit on this bundle was 52. So I hope the buyer loves it. All really nice quality pieces. Okay, let's see if we can make this work here. Woo! Not going well so far. 
This is my, okay, yeah, this, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to build, oh no, and I ripped, well, I'll just put in another piece of paper. Okay, I'm gonna have to build a box number seven. This is my largest USPS box that I use. And it usually is a perfect size for bulkier bundles like this. The only downside is you do have to use more materials with this box, like tape. And I do use usually a lot of paper with this box. Um, and the other boxes are self-sealing. So I usually don't use tape for those, but that's fine. Everyone always asks me why I don't use the USPS shoe boxes for shoes, and that's why, because they are not self-sealing. They also are wider and longer than these kind of boxes, and so the shoes have more room to move around during transit, and in my mind, that creates more of a possibility for damage getting thrown around. So yeah, that's why I stick to the 1092 and 1095 boxes for shoes generally. I do have a list of all of the specific boxes and envelopes that I order free from the USPS to ship my Poshmark orders in the description down below. I do use Priority Mail for all of my sales because that's what Poshmark, that's what the Poshmark platform supports. Poshmark does have a pre-negotiated rate with USPS for Priority Mail and so Essentially, the weight does not matter on what you're shipping out with Poshmark as long as it's under five pounds because that is the negotiation. Okay, moving along. This was an exciting sale. Frank and Eileen, an excellent brand, definitely a bolo brand. You guys should know. Long line sleeveless vest hoodie. This I've only had listed for a couple weeks now. It did have quite a bit of interest. It's really pretty. It has a rolled rose gold zipper and manufactured distressing throughout. Definitely kind of an athleisure loungewear style piece, which is a category that sells phenomenally for me. So I listed this at 75. This probably retailed around 250, maybe 300. The brand is so expensive. Uh, yeah, I listed at 75. Someone liked it, and so my Posture VA sent them out a $67 offer with discounted shipping, which was accepted, making my earnings $50.62. I paid about $2.50 for this just because it does have a little bit of weight to it. And so my profit came out to right around $48. I am extremely happy with. This is a gorgeous piece, so high quality. I hope the buyer loves it. You could really do a lot with this. You could layer with it, lounge in it. Um, I think I'll put this in a box. There's really no rhyme or reason if I use a box versus an envelope envelope it's more so just what fits where kind of thing so yeah like I said definitely keep an eye out for Frank and Eileen pieces and some of their clothing is manufactured to have a crinkle effect to it like a wrinkled look which I was not aware of until I found a shirt and spent a very long time trying to steam the wrinkles out only to look up the stock photo and see that it had wrinkles at time of manufacture so we love that that's just something to keep in mind okay next up we have a really fun kimono piece from free people it ties in front it's one size star printed this was also a very fast sale within just a day or two of being listed, which I kind of expected just because the comps were good on this. I don't think there were a million of these listed, which is kind of rare for free people these days. I listed it at 38 
and I was offered 32, which I accepted. That was a very fair offer. My earnings came out to $25.60, and my profit was right around $25. This is extremely lightweight. Add my thank you sticker. My, you may have noticed that my rack behind me has changed a little bit. My, this section has grown out. So I have all of the colors. I have black, gray, brown, cream, white, and then I go into the rainbow, Roy G. Biv, if you will. Uh, and so yeah, that's one step closer to filming an office tour because that was on my list. Uh, getting all my inventory fully color coded, coordinated. Uh, I'm just trying to get everything super organized and I am getting there. Okay, next up we have a pair of Everlane shorts. Once again, extremely fast sale. These are a high waisted lounge short in a very trendy color. I said in the haul video that I pick up pretty much anything from Everlane, no matter what category it is lounge shorts, jeans, tops. I might leave behind extremely basic tops like tank tops, especially if they are not like cotton or linen, which would probably be kind of rare because I think Everlane is like a very sustainable brand. So I'm sure they use a lot of natural materials. But anyways, I pick up most everything that I find from Everlane just because the demand for this brand is so high across the board. And these shorts support that notion. I listed them at 30. I was offered 20, which I did counter to 25 and that was accepted making my earnings 20 and my profit around 19 on those. Next, a very exciting sale. This is by the brand Saison, which again, an excellent Bolo brand for you guys. Extremely high demand, great quality. And this sold once again, within a couple days of being listed. This is their tomboy shirt with a very feminine in contrast print little rose colored print so I listed this at 80 which might seem high but it did retail for over a hundred dollars and the comps the sold comps were around that 70 to 80 dollar mark so when I was offered 56 I did counter to 75 and that was countered back to 65, which I did accept, making my earnings 52 and my profit around $50 on this shirt, which is so exciting. It pretty much makes my day whenever I find stays on. Johnny was Reformation. I would say those are my three absolute favorite, like top tier brands to find. There are others, but that's those are the brands that I find probably consistently, uh, not too often, but consistently rarely, I would say, if that makes sense. Okay, next, another extremely fast sale. This is an alpaca blend rolled neck sweater. So I got this because of the material, because of the novelty print, and also because it does look brand new, like no signs of wear on this. It's so cute. I listed this at 35 and was offered 25, which I did counter to 32. 32 was my lowest for the sweater. You would think that this would retail for higher with the material and quality of it but it only retailed at 65 so my $32 counter was accepted making my earnings $25.60 and my profit $23.60 so I hope the buyer loves it it is adorable and yeah, I did add a lot of keywords into this. Nautical, main, novelty print, 
Lobster Coastal. And got it in and out the door quickly, which we love. Okay, now I think I'm actually going to have to build one more box number seven for this bundle. Okay. So I will just add a piece of paper into the bottom of this box. This is a three piece bundle, two clothing items and one pair of shoes. So I will just neatly fold in the first two clothing pieces and then wrap the shoes. So this is such a gorgeous dress. I have had this over a year now, which I'm kind of surprised about. The brand is Lewis and Stanley Limited, New York. This is a vintage piece. I want to say it's either a maxi dress that you wear out or it's more of like a house coat kind of thing. It ties up all the way until the waist. So it is kind of open in front, but either way, the print is just so cool in this. It's very kind of 70s vibe. And with it being vintage, it's in such good condition for its age, no flaws. I'm, like I said, I am surprised this took a while to sell, but I was extremely excited to move it out because I have had it for so long. So that's our first piece. Second is this midi length skirt. This in contrast was a very fast sale within a couple days. It's by the brand Japna. Tiered reptile printed midi skirt. Trendy, but also kind of a closet staple, timeless piece, I would say. And lastly, a pair of shoes. These are by the brand Moose and Cloud or Muse and Cloud. I'm not sure exactly how you say it. These give off kind of a free people slash free birds vibe with the patina to the leather. They have laser cut designs. See, I'll just loosely wrap these. It should be fine. Yeah, I will just add the thank you sticker on top so the buyer sees it as soon as they open the package and then seal it up. Okay, so when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $97 and I was offered $79, which I was pretty ecstatic about. So I did accept. My earnings were $63.20. I paid about five for everything and so my profit was $58 on that bundle. Moving on, we have a skirt. This is a linen blend skirt from the brand Nick and Zoe, which has a pretty high retail price. It's usually fantastic quality. I would say this brand is more of a mature type brand. I did not fold that very well. It kind of goes in line with like Eileen Fisher, that kind of thing. They do a lot of natural fabrics almost kind of lag and look artsy style stuff a lot of vibrant prints but the quality and retail price are up there so I do usually get it this skirt actually came in a mystery box unboxing uh, from Courtney actually who just created a YouTube channel recently I will put the channel on the screen I have watched some of her thrift hauls. They're so good. I need to go comment. I always watch them on my TV, and so I don't have the comment section pulled up, but I need to go comment and tell her that I am loving the channel so far. So yeah, I got this from Courtney, um, and you guys should go check out her channel, subscribe, and support her because she sent me some boxes of inventory that was so awesome. I sold so much from them. I did film them. I can link them down below if you guys want to see them. And I just paid shipping on those boxes. And then when I filmed the hauls, the revenue from the hauls paid for the shipping that I sent her. So basically, I have chalked that up as free inventory. I listed that skirt at 20. I was offered 15. It does have a tiny hole somewhere. And so I took the 15 and ran with it, making my earnings $12. Okay, next we have another three-piece bundle. First off is this gorgeous Talbot's jacket. It's like a two-tone contrasting jacket. 
another very fast sale here, which was not surprising to me just with the quality of this. And again, fall winter items are starting to sell. So I would not discount them at all. I'll wrap this one by itself and then the other two together. Okay, second piece is by Pure Jill J. Jill, size medium, long line hoodie top. I think this is brand new. It still has the little tag barb. It's cotton viscose and nylon. It's really soft. It honestly feels like a cashmere blend. It kind of has a speckled knit to it. Just a nice throw on and go kind of piece. Or you could definitely lounge in this. And lastly, is a kimono by Francesca's. I picked this up from the bins because it's lightweight. Did I say poncho? This is a kimono. I might have said kimono. I don't know. I forget. I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet today. But either way, this is really pretty with all of the heavy floral embroidery. And so, yeah, that was our third and final piece for this bundle. The bundle price came out to $93.50 and I sent the potential buyer an $85 offer with discount ship, which was accepted, making my earnings $65. I paid six for everything and so my net profit was $59. The J. Jill hoodie I have had for a couple months now but the Francesca's kimono and Talbot's jacket were very fast sales within days. So now I will grab the 1095 box that I made up a little bit ago. I'm thinking I might need to weigh this box. And anytime the box is a little bit overstuffed like this, I usually add tape just to supplement both sides. You do not want anything popping open during transit. Add our label and then I will grab my scale. I love this scale. It's so fast and it has a little hold button on the side so when you put your package on then you press hold and it holds it for you. Three pounds. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I have the scale linked down below if you guys. I think it's only like 20 bucks. And I use it pretty often, more often than I thought I would when I got it. Okay. Now we have an adorable sweater, layered look sweater from Anthropology. So this is a mixed media top, meaning that the sleeves and trim are. Uh, just like a regular shirt kind of cotton and then the body is a sweater knit. It looks like it's a layered piece but it is all one top. Grab my lint roller here. I lint roll everything before filming but sometimes lint finds its way right back to the piece which is fine. But anyways, yeah, I've had this sweater now for a couple months, which I was surprised about because it is so cute. And the comps were good. I don't think there were any of, of this colorway with the solid black and polka dots listed when I listed mine. Uh, and this was a newer piece. Like, it was still selling on Anthropology's website when I found it. So I had it listed at 65 and this morning someone offered me 52 which I was very happy to accept. Actually it might have been because of the seasonality of this. I didn't even think about that but this is more of a transition weather kind of piece. It's not super warm, it's not like a turtleneck kind of thing but it does offer some warmth to it. So yeah, maybe stuff like this is going to start selling that has been sitting. That's why it's so important to relist stuff because when the season that's appropriate for a piece that you listed 
in an off season when that season rolls back around you want to get it relisted and get fresh eyes on it so my earnings for that sweater were $41.60 I paid around two for it at the bins and so my profit was $40 okay last couple sales first is a two-piece bundle these were both very fast sales within days of being listed BKE eyelash sweater knit for sweater sweater in a size extra large this had a lot going for it which is why I grabbed it this is I think I'm gonna have to wrap these separately I don't know I might need a big box for this sale also this is a very chunky knit sweater um, and this is a very fall oriented bundle someone commented on one of my recent videos saying like it's so hot in Houston how can you be thinking about sweaters which is very true it's like over a hundred here over a hundred degrees here but you know when you're selling to people around the country it starts cooling off I don't know I'm kind of oblivious to weather in other parts of the country but I do know that it is different around the country and it starts cooling off I'm sure in some places very soon if it hasn't already so you have to think big picture when you're shipping stuff out you don't want to just think about your immediate surroundings kind of thing is that a, what is that there's a bug oh I think that's that's one of those like mosquito hoppers okay I'll have to handle that in a minute so this this is our second and last piece. It is a Free People thermal top. And I have sold this in the past. It is the, I forget the exact style name of it. I said it in the third fall. But all of these kind of basic bread and butter, Free People waffle knits, thermals, Henleys, they usually sell within a month for me. This one sold within days. And I did like the color of it. It's a nice, pretty green. Okay, I think we'll be good with our 1095 box here, just to confirm. I have so much to do after this haul. I need to steam a rack of clothes, take pictures of them on my mannequin, and then I need to photo about 15 pairs of shoes, film, I have three thrift hauls to film. So, I think it's going to be a late night, but I'm very excited to knock out a lot of work. I like to bulk work, like condense my work into several hours and then take like half a day off tomorrow kind of thing. Uh, that's just how I work best. If anyone was curious, I'm just rambling at this point. I feel like, yeah, no, that's not, that's not overweight. Okay, our very last sale for today is an adorable pair of Farm Rio printed trouser pants, high rise trouser pants. These are so cute. I rarely find this brand, but it does sell really well especially the crazier prints and anything just super boho from the brand, which is a lot of it. I had these listed at 50 and earlier today I received a $40 offer, which I accepted. My earnings were 32 and my profit was right around $30. I've had these listed for about a month now. And yeah, happy to move them out. So that is absolutely it for this ship with me video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.